What's up, water signs? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm here to do your weekly energy telescope for the weeks of the 15th through the 20th. I'm always getting the dates all crazy, y'all, okay? So, in a pre-shuffle meditation, I see that you guys are having a hard time making a decision between somebody in your past and new love coming in, and it's looking like you're blocking your blessings. Because, um, basically, I mean, and either you're blocking your blessings or you got two blessings on the way. Because you basically have the king of pentacles and the king of cups there. That was basically waiting on you to make a decision that you was, tr you was clearly trying to avoid because you was having a hard time walking away um, on an emotional level from your past. So... Um, it's looking like one person can offer you the Ten of Pentacles and the other person can offer you the Ten of Cups. So let's just see what comes out in the main spread, you guys. Okay, Spirit, we want to tap into the energy of water signs. That's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. For the weeks of the 15th or the week of the 15th through the 20th. Let me get the energies that's coming in for water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising from the 15th to the 20th. All right, so, so far, I got the Four of Wands. So, it's looking like one of these offers, either you have had a stable, either you have had a stable household situation with before, or this is somebody that you were recently either married to or still are. And it's looking like y'all going through a divorce. This person literally can be changing their mind about the situation because both of those energies could have been coming towards you um, literally. But it is looking like you're going through a breakup, okay? So maybe what it is is that you are actually um, going through a breakup or a divorce and you got new love coming in, but you're kind of blocking it right now because you're not quite able to walk away from that king of pentacles. And I know it's the king of pentacles you're walking away from because it's looking like here is specifically a Taurus. Either that or it could be a Gemini, have a Gemini in his charts, okay? Water signs. So, and this can be vice versa. It could be you with Taurus in your chart. You could be the one that's wanting this divorce so you can move towards this um, King of Cups. But it's definitely looking like you being indecisive. See? With the Two of Swords, you are definitely avoiding a decision. Yeah, but it's over with, with this Earth sign. So, I don't know why it's so difficult for you to walk away. Maybe um, the divorce was on their behalf. Maybe they provided you with stability, but they're turning their back on the situation now. They don't find the situation. They don't find freedom in the situation anymore. They feel trapped. They feel bogged down. They don't feel like the marriage or the relationship is going in the direction that you guys initially planned. Somebody definitely needs healing. Could be you, especially when it comes to the situation because it looks like somebody else is pretty resolute about leaving a connection. Meanwhile, um, you kind of indecisive about moving forward, which that sucks. Oh, yeah. It's leading to a separation, guys, with the three of swords here. So, you know, it's, it's time to accept it's time to accept. That way, you guys are not sitting here um, being hurt to the core by a situation that you really want to work out. But it's looking like at this time, it's not moving in the direction that you want it to move in. It's moving towards divorce, separation. Okay, one more card for water signs, the world. This is the end. This is the ending of a cycle. Okay? And last but not least, here you are feeling very, very, very anxious. And I think this situation, wow, here you are as the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe this, maybe that's what it is when it comes to this relationship. Maybe when it came to this relationship or marriage, you were financially dependent on your partner. And with them moving away from you, Empress uh, Aries Taurus energy divine masculine energy 
it's looking like it's going to put you in a place where either you got to go back to work. Maybe you were a housewife. Maybe you were codependent on this person. But this person is definitely moving away from you, okay, to calmer waters. And you could be trying to spy to figure out what's going on. Um, it could be a lot of arguments going on leading up to this divorce. But right now, it's at a standstill. You know, it, it was needing a transformation. And since the transformation didn't occur, then the death did. So, yeah, the Eight of Cups is now in the upright when it comes to the main spread. So, it's looking pretty resolute on at least one person's end that this is over with. It could have been a lot of secrets being held from one partner. Let me grab, I was charging my decks and I didn't pull all of them down to the table. So, let me grab a clarifying deck. I'll be right back. So I went on and grabbed my Gilded Reverie Lenormand to go ahead and clarify the spread with um, because I need as much clarity as possible. I definitely want to first focus on this Hierophant in reverse. Um, I definitely do feel like this is signifying a divorce or um, better yet, yeah, it's looking like a decision uh, is being avoided at this time that somebody... And maybe needed to make a, a choice. And it's showing multiple times throughout. Not only this spread, but the actual um the actual pre-shuffle. Why is the lovers here in reverse? That's another decision being avoided. Like somebody doesn't want to make a decision in this situation. So I feel like instead of a decision, they're just deciding to walk away. They find that to be the easiest thing to do. So let's see why this lover's car. Wow. Okay. So it could be you as the water sign woman. Yeah. Somebody already sees that their situation is kind of in a rut with the mice here. That's a lot of destruction, sneakiness going on. Somebody kind of hide in some knowledge, hiding facts. Uh, you know, but somebody still want to build and go to the next level. The other person ain't having that. Why is this two of swords here? Because I really want to know what's being avoided. What decision is being avoided? Why is the two of swords in reverse here? Mm. Cool. Yeah. I really feel like it has something to do with luck and finances. Um, could even be inheritance, could be uh, alimony, something of that nature. But I definitely feel like um, the, the decision is being avoided to let this thing in. Yeah, a message, messenger. And I definitely feel like um, somebody could be being actually served, to be honest with you. Like perhaps one person in a relationship or a marriage got served but they're still avoiding like giving an actual answer or signing the documents to let this situation go because they are financially dependent on the situation and it's definitely the feminine energy that's dependent because with the queen of pentacles in reverse sometimes that can signify the gold digger yeah With the uh, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, it was clarified by the love in reverse. So yeah, the love just ran out. It, it just looks like the situation ran its course. And one person is kind of inconvenienced on a financial note when it comes to the breakup. Okay, why is this three of wands in reverse? And I definitely feel like this request for a divorce or a breakup was delivered very rudely. Yeah. I think that this was kind of... How do I want to put this? This was kind of... It wasn't foreseen. So, when whoever's on the receiving end of this news that somebody wants to end it and move forward, move on without... The, uh, the marriage is basically in shock because I feel like the change kind of came suddenly. Maybe they didn't have much of a heads up. Maybe they didn't see things declining in a relationship. Why is the uh, Princess of Swords here reversed? 
Yeah, somebody wishes ain't coming true. And I feel like the person that's delivering that is delivering it harshly too. Why is the four of swords here in reverse? Uh -oh. oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's looking like it's definitely a newer feminine energy here. So, time could have ran out. Or, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling like this could have been going on for up to four years. And it got to the point where the newer energy was like, okay, when exactly are you going to tell your wife or your current girlfriend? And this person kind of ran out of time or felt like their time was running out to make a move. So they went on and proceeded with a separation with that person. And let me check this three of swords, even though it's kind of apparent. Ooh, ah, a child could definitely be involved, okay? And somebody definitely isn't defending their current situation anymore. It looks like somebody is more in defense when it comes to their newer situation because it could actually be a child involved. And that timeline that was given or that time that was ran out was probably most likely a pregnancy. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe it was like you need to leave before I had this baby or whatever the case is. But it's definitely looking like somebody had a time limit. Yeah. <sighs> Cancer, Scorpios, or Pisces. I don't know if you're on the receiving end of this, but this definitely this chapter that has closed or has ended was definitely one that in, in, involved a family or a household. So a household situation, stability, and a stable connection is kind of coming to an end because of secrets. Okay, with the moon here. And like I said, I do feel like this went on for cycles and cycles. Why is the nine of swords here? And then we can pull some advice cards. Why is the nine of swords here? Yeah, somebody feels way down and drained by this. You know? And if it's you, water signs, go ahead and free yourself. Like you don't have to, you don't have to hold on to something. That's no longer meant for you just because you're afraid to lose. Like, you know, it might be it's just time. You know, if you were financially dependent on this person, understand that the universe to have your back when it comes to regaining whatever it is that you have to lose in order to display love and respect for yourself. Because right now it's looking like this emperor energy is definitely choosing a new family over the existing family or existing connection. So poised. It's looking like somebody is flying off the handle about this. And it could be you, Water Signs, especially if you want to receive an end of this news. <clears throat> Time to go. Hmm. I'm going to just put this in the upright. It came out. But yeah, it's definitely time to go. It's time to realize that this person is ready to go. And this is a nine car or 45 reduced down to a nine. Wrap this cycle up because it's meant to be closed at this point. Okay. One more advice card for water signs. Two more came out. Okay. Uh, a change in the wind. So, yes, I definitely feel like this was a sudden change that took place within a union household family um, situation. And so whoever was on the receiving end of this change or whoever had to accept this that wasn't really ready to accept it, it's because they was kind of, the, the ball was just kind of suddenly dropped on them. Like they didn't realize that this was going on. With a three car here, that's collaboration. This person, again, this could be a third party situation or this could have been a person they met at work or whatever. Time for a nap, rest and retreat. Just like it said with the four of swords there in reverse, it's a need for healing at this time. <clears throat> and the reason why it's a need for healing is because this situation is not just a divorce. It's literally an affair that led to a divorce. So with that being very painful and with that being something that can be kind of damaging, not only to your psyche, but your ego, you definitely need to rest retreat 
kind of digest what's happening and come to grips with it so that you can better understand and accept it and see it from a different perception and start to move forward in a healthy way for yourself. So I definitely want to pull some cards for finances. Hold on. Okay, so let's get some finances for water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising from the 15th through the 28th of September. Clear, concise messages for water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Spirit is, uh, spirit is in the house. I'm definitely tickling my nose at this time. Knight of Pentacles. So it definitely looks like when it comes to your finances, you have a new offer coming in. Um, could be a new job. Maybe you filled out an application at this place a long time ago and they still haven't gotten back to you. And maybe you're to the point of thinking that they're not going to get back to you. But it's looking like they're coming in. It just took them a little bit longer than what you expected. For water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And this also can be any kind of business deal. Like if you've been working on some kind of project, maybe it got accepted. Four of Swords and the Fool. So it's definitely looking like you need to sit back, think, meditate, and negotiate on this new beginning. Make sure that you're getting paid fairly. Make sure that it's for the better of you because it's looking like you're getting, in addition to this stable offer, it looks like you're getting a lot of offers here with the Seven of Cups. So you may be a little bit confused. As you can see, those cups are kind of glitzy so that could be spirit just letting you know everything that is glitter is not gold please make sure you check and double check when it comes down to um whatever uh you accept on a business business deal level okay nine of swords it looks like you've been in a lot of anxiety when it comes down to your finances or just waiting for this offer three of cups in reverse so it's definitely looking like you separated from something establishment maybe even a group project and so maybe that's why you were so worried that you was gonna be out of your money but you definitely was in manifestation mode with the magician here so that could be exactly why this Knight of Pentacles is here with a new offer for you, okay? Okay, King of Pentacles, yeah, you was down on your look financially, okay? These images are a little bit darker to see, but I like using these for finance, yeah. It's time for you to heal your finances, and I do believe that this new offer will. It's Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. It's definitely signifying the fact that this is something that you will be extremely passionate about. That's probably going to be fun and adventurous. You may even get to travel with this uh, with this new job. And I'm just going to pull a couple of oracles when it comes to your finances. Yes, it's looking like if you had any karma to pay when it came down to your finances, that's all paid. So you will definitely start seeing a change in a positive way. You might have felt stuck, stagnant, and like your luck just wasn't changed no matter what you was doing. But you started to use your instinct. Um, you started to isolate yourself so that you're able to study and figure out what it is that you need to do in order to heal your finances, to heal your situation, to become more stable. You know, and like I said, if, if that meant like backing away from people for a little while just so you can clear your head and get clear on what it is you need to do to improve your situation, that's exactly what you did. You left friends and your, your social circle in the cold while you focused on yourself and your money. And that's what gave you the power. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gain power by stepping up to the plate and doing a leg work in order to change your situation. So the way you was feeling like you was going out the world ass backwards and you changed that for yourself. Instead of the woe is me, you got up off your ass and you did something in order to change your situation. So you should be very, very proud of that word signs. And that's your finances and that's your reading. If you have, guys haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do that. Hit the post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I post a new weekly energy reading or a bi-weekly zodiac reading or go live for free uh, personal questions by me. Okay, guys? And 
also I have other different types of vlogs and vlogs coming up for you guys entertainment as well as information so you don't want to miss that go ahead and hit the bell and I'll see you guys in the next video bye